I'm going to show you the best supply items in Loop Hero and why. And it's not the same for each class. Some classes need different items. So let's go to supply. Also, before I go to supply, I would recommend placing mud huts everywhere since they're almost free. Every single mud hut will let you let you equip one more item. Uh, level 2 does not, and then level 3 gives you another, and level 4 gives you another. So just go ahead and place level 1 and just leave them. That'd be like your first goal to fill the town with mud huts. You can upgrade them later if you get resources later. Anyway, we're going to supply. So it, it turns out there's only four, five, I think six items. There's only six items that are even worth using. Everything else is complete garbage. Okay, I'm just going to say it right now. Everything else is complete trash. So the first thing is, because it's simple, jewelry. There's only one thing you want in jewelry, and you only want one. A rare book. This thing gives plus one defense for every card in the player's hand and does not stack. Might as well throw one in. It's not bad. It helps in the first few levels. Uh, then, the question is, are you doing chapter four, or are you not doing chapter four? If you are not doing chapter four, then you also have to ask what, what class are you playing? Let's start with the warrior. The warrior, no matter what chapter you're doing, you want counts chairs. You want to put on as many of these as you can up to around 50 or so. 50, 60, something like that. 50 is good enough. If you ever get, if you even get 50, I know that's like a tall order here. I know I, I have an insane amount because I use cheats just for troubleshooting and, you know, debugging basically. But just put on as many counts chairs as you can. Uh, honestly, not, like most of the stuff that you want is furniture. So whenever you can, whenever you're at the mats, you want to craft furniture. Because furniture has the most things that you're going to want to equip no matter what class you're on. So uh, no matter what class you're on, you're always going to want a few alchemist shelves. Uh, and then also the antique shelf is something you're going to want if you are in chapter 4. So uh, I'm, I know I'm getting, I'm getting kind of all over the place here. So uh, if you are a warrior, you want counts chairs. Okay. Uh, and then also if you're a warrior, you want farmer's scythes. Because farmer's scythes give you 3% of your damage, you get additional 3% damage as all damage. So if you do 100 damage and you have 30 of these, well, now you're going to do 90 damage to all. So the initial guy is going to get 190 instead of 100, and everyone else is going to get 90. These things are insane. And have you get a farmer's scythe? Throw on a farmer's scythe. Uh, another thing that's really handy is the plus 1% of potions healing power. Uh, throw on some of those too if you have enough slots for them. But not a whole lot. You just want like 5, 10, 15, something like that. Not a lot. And the reason you want those is because now let's move on to what if you are playing on Chapter 4. If you're playing on Chapter 4, you can completely break the game with one item. It's called the Antique Shelf. So the Antique Shelf gives plus one to max HP for every whole resource gained during this expedition. You are going to want to throw on as many of these as possible. Uh, if you are a warrior, you're going to want, you know, a certain number of counts chairs, ideally 40 or 50, assuming you have all the items in the world. And then uh, you're going to want just a few alchemist shelves, you know, one or, one or two rows of the farmer's scythes, uh, one row of herbalist sickles, and then everything else as antique shelves. And, and honestly, as you get items, you just throw them on. These are the only items that you're going to want. You just throw on any of these items as you get them. But if you ever get to where you have an infinite of any of these items, like you just have unlimited items, then that's the composition you're going to want. So that's the warrior. Uh, what that will do is make it so you have basically infinite HP. But now, uh, let's think about the rogue. The rogue also needs counts chairs, needs all this. The rogue is actually about the same as the warrior. If you're playing as a rogue, pretty much the exact same thing because the rogue has innate lifesteal. The counts chair gives 1% vampire vampirism if you already have some. So also as the warrior, make sure you always have at least one item equipped that has vampirism so that you can have this vampirism or else it won't actually exist. For the rogue, it'll no matter what be there because you have innate vampirism, so it'll always be on there. Uh, so that's the rogue, exact same thing. And I'll show you all this in a second. I'll show you this on one of the characters, the warrior, I'll show you. Uh, then the last one is what if you are playing as a necromancer? Well, as a necromancer, I would recommend putting on about 10 to 15 alchemist shelves. And then after that, put on one or two rows of herbalist sickles. And obviously the book. Then just put antique shelves. You just want to get as many antique shelves as you can. You want to go to craft. You're going to want to craft every time you have wood and these things. You're going to want to use alchemy to get more of these things. You're going to want to use alchemy to get wood and craft more. Craft, 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 furniture, 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 furniture. Get rid of all the furniture except for 
the antique shelves if you are just trying to use a necromancer. And the reason for that is on chapter four, you're, there's no cap to the amount of resources that you can get. So in theory, if you have a hundred of these equipped, that means every time you get a full resource, you get 100 HP. Well, I don't know if you've ever made it to like loop level 20, but by loop level 20, if you have the board completely filled with monsters, by loop level 20, you'll have thousands of whole resources, which means you're gonna have hundreds of thousands of HP. So uh, that is the basic idea. I'll show you in a second. So uh, that's the main thing. There's really nothing else that you're gonna wanna equip. Uh, food is complete garbage. There's no good food. It's really just antique shelves, counts chairs, alchemist shelves, Farmer scythes, herbalist sickles, and you can throw on a few jewelers magnifying glasses if you want because it raises the chance of finding rare items by 10%. I, I, honestly, you don't need them, but if you have some, you can throw them on. If you have a spare slot, just throw a few on. I wouldn't throw too many on, but I leave them on just because it helps me find some rare gear. All right, now let me show you what this actually looks like. So I cheated to turn the game speed up about seven times normal game speed. I'm going to go through here, and I'm just going to place some groves. I'm going to place anything that spawns enemies just to show you. Uh, this is the only cheat I have on right now is speed cheat. Uh, everything else is innate, just how the game is based on those items I have equipped. I have the exact items equipped that I showed in the uh, right before this part. I really should be placing things, but I don't, I don't have time for that. So I just want to show you the HP scaling. So up here's our items. We already have two full stacks of something. You also want to get my vampirism. Now I'm invincible. Sort of invincible. I really need attack speed, but I'm not going to place the forest make you wait for that. So uh, we're just going to keep placing things. We're already up to 800 HP on loop 3. It's going to get a lot better real fast. Let me throw some stuff on real fast. There we go. Make sure that I don't accidentally die here. Also, if you get lucky, you can get... I don't have it. There's uh, traits you can get that'll make you get more resources and have a chance of getting a stack of resources uh, instead of just the one little one. If you get the chance for those traits, get those traits because it'll get you more HP. So you can see we're on loop 5, and I already have 1,500 HP. Uh, things are snowballing out of control, and I don't even have that many of those ancient shelves equipped. I only have like 30 equipped, which I know that's a lot. But there's nothing stopping you from putting on literally a hundred of these. If you're a necromancer, it's literally the only item that has any value because the necromancer doesn't attack himself. Uh, his skeletons attack for him, so those other buffs don't do anything for the necromancer. So uh, that's why the necromancer wants more potions because the necromancer the potions heal a percentage of HP, and you also want those herbalist sickles because uh, the the potions heal percentage of HP, so if you get enough stuff for HP, then you can get to where the Necromancer by loop 20 has like 500,000 HP or something, and the potions will heal like 25% of your HP, and then uh, that'll heal you for like a quarter million health or something. You know what I You get the idea. I'm assuming you get... I hope you get the idea of what, what that would look like. So uh, we are at loop level 7 with 3,600 HP. You can see how this quickly snowballs out of control. I'm not even trying. I'm literally just throwing random gear on without looking. I'm literally just placing things. I'm not even placing any forests, rivers, or any buildings other than cemeteries and groves. And with that lifesteal combined with that HP, we are pretty much completely invincible. It is actually insane. Now, obviously, I have way more items than anyone's normally going to have. Uh, but... Well, let me see if I can get the thing. Oh, and the other one, here's a crazy one. This is a crazy one for the warrior. If you do this thing where you have HP, get the Article of Protection, because every loop it gives you a phantom protection that equals 65% of your max HP. And once you get to where you have a million HP, that'll be a 650,000 HP shield every loop. That thing's insane. You definitely want that. And then here's the other one I was talking about, the Awakened Fragment. 2% chance to get a whole resource sphere instead of a chunk. If you get that, you will snowball out of control because of how many resources you'll be getting. So we're at loop 8, 5,000 HP. I haven't even filled in the map yet. Once you fill in the map, it just gets faster and faster per, I'm you know, per loop. Six thousand HP.
So at this point, we're invincible. Between the vampirism and potions, with this much HP, the enemies are scaled. This uh, The enemy scaling will not keep up. I don't know if the enemy scaling will actually ever catch up, honestly. Uh, I did this. I was at loop level 30 and literally completely invincible. Unbelievably invincible. And, uh... I finally just left because I need to make videos. I didn't, I didn't have time. You're not seven times speed. I didn't have time to sit there till loop level 1000 or whatever I was going to end up going to. So, but Yeah, feel free to play this yourself. It's freaking insane. It's the most broken thing. Hands down. It is so Those items are so broken if you can get enough of them. Once you have enough of them, is the game's literally over. It's literally the easiest game you'll ever play in your life. It's just a joke. So loop level 9, and we're almost at 10,000 HP. And it's only getting faster from here because I'm just about done filling out the map. So, just a little bit more. And now that the map is filled... Well, it's not quite filled, but now the map's basically filled. Now each loop, we're going to end up getting... Each loop, we're going to end up getting like five, like three to four thousand HP, I think. Maybe five thousand. And that's not even like that's not even that many equipped. If you ever find a way to get like a hundred of those, you'll have millions and millions of HP. It'll be insane. Like you can literally get millions of HP by loop level fifty or something. All right, let's let's end it on the boss. Let's end it on the boss, and then we'll call it. We'll call it on the boss. I'm sure you guys have seen enough. I'm sure sixty percent or eighty percent of you guys have already left the video at this point. But for those of you who are still trucking and still watching. This is what the boss will look like at loop, loop level 10. Not even, doesn't even exist. It's a joke. So, uh... There we go. I filled in the map. We beat the boss. Loop level 10, I have 14,000 HP. And by loop level 20, I'll probably have like, you know, 100,000 or something. It, it, it gets crazy at this point. Completely insane. So, if you are wanting to know the absolute best supply items to equip, what your options are... Those items I showed you, those are the only items even worth considering. Everything else is complete garbage by comparison to those items. Those items are completely broken, at least right now. It's March 8th, 2021, so who knows? Maybe somebody will patch and rebalance things, but as of right now, those are the best items from the Supply Depot or whatever in Loop Hero. If this video helped you, consider helping us by subscribing to our channel. Tap this button over here and hit the red subscribe button. Subscriptions help a lot. Even if you never watch our videos again. Ha 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 ha!